Hello coders, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to solve lit code problem number 589 and array 3 pre-order traversal. It's an easy problem, but if you don't know what's a tree, what's a pre-order traversal in a tree and what actually an array tree is, you might find difficulty in solving this problem. So I'll just explain what a tree is. So basically in a tree what we have are um, number of nodes so there are various number of nodes and each node points to another node and one important thing to keep in mind is that in a tree there is no loop so this is a tree and also one more thing is that no two nodes can point to the same node so we can't have something like this it is not a tree also we cannot have a loop uh, so a loop would be something like it's going from here and coming back again which is not correct we do not need this we do not want this in a tree so a tree is like a simple form of graph which only which only proceeds towards um okay so this is what a tree will look like now we are uh, we need to perform pre-order traversal pre-order so pre-order basically means that we will traverse our node first before traversing each of its children so what what our pre-order traversal would look like for this one so we will traverse our node first so i'll always uh, put uh, my node first and then its children now three two and four are its children right but three is again a parent node for its children and this should come before its children right so um, this one whole tree uh, one comes before that and now it's children so it's turn for its children three and then a two and then four but now in case of three we have this subtree here again and this sub for this subtree three is a parent node to its children right so we will need to add three after that to our list of array and then next we move to its children which are five and six and now five itself is a tree and since it doesn't have any children so we uh, we we first add five and then no children so we then move forward to the next child of five, three which is a six so we then insert our next value and then since we are done with this subtree now we move uh, on with another child of one which is a two so we uh, we insert our two and then we insert four so so far you would have noticed that what we are doing here is a dfs depth first search so um i start from my root node and then i move towards its child and then its child again until and unless there is no child and then uh, rest of all its ch children and then again go back to another node so this is what we are doing so in this case also we will be doing the same so i guess you you now understand what we are actually doing we are just doing breadth uh, depth first traversal oh i'm sorry we are doing breadth first traversal so let us dive into the code so we need to return an output uh, uh, which is an array so i'll define my array but i'll def modify the function to define my array why am i doing this is because every time i will call a dfs function i do not want my result to be uh, do not want to define my result each and every time so once i update my result i want other values to be inserted to the same result that's why I am uh, defining it once and then and the rest of the time I'll just pass my result to when I call the function. 
and now here if root e is equals to now uh, we don't need this in javascript it's very simple then we will just return empty array and then for each of the children of the root node so um for those who are confused what children is root the children so what what it looks like so it's actually an array array of nodes so uh, for three it would look something like an array of nodes so it will have node 5 5 and node 6 now what are what are nodes nodes are um node have these two values so we have the definition of node is that it has a value and a children so node 5 will look something like this so it will have a value which is uh, 5 and then its children which is again an array of nodes now since 5 doesn't have any children so it will be an empty array and similarly for node 6 it will look something like this so we have our value which is equals to 6 and then its children which is an empty array so since th this is the children of node 3 so for node 1 it would again look so something similar to this one so it will have node 3 which is uh, node 3 node uh, 2 and node 4 so what does node 3 look like node 3 looks like well it has a value 3 and children so we know the children of node 3 looks like this right so we just copy paste here okay i'll just put some indentation great so this is what node 3 looks like and node 2 will look like this similarly node 4 will look like this so this is what we have here so now for each of the children of i of um of i what are we doing we are calling the pre-order traverser so pre-order um root cjlt array and children i comma the res result and one thing very important thing that i missed is to push <coughs> sorry one very important thing is to push my root node value to the result and then finally return my result so the time complexity of this uh, is o of n because we are traversing each and every node in the tree and the space complexity is also o of n because we are storing them in um, an array great